You are now listening to Sorel Gor MD. Sorel Gor MD, day in the life of an interventional radiology fellow. I'm going to break this down for you. Before I do that, do me a favor. Smash that like button real quick. Go down a little lower. Tap that subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, here we go. My smartphone alarm goes off at 0430. All right, just like med school, just like general surgery, 0430. Okay, I'm in my scrubs at around 5 o'clock in the morning. My morning routine is this. Chug three cups of coffee, listen to some hip-hop, get pumped up, and then I'm out the door. All right, this is my ride to work. One piece of advice, if your hours suck, get a sick car. This is a BMW Z4 hardtop convertible. I usually get to my workstation about 5.45. All right, as soon as I sit down, I start logging in. Packs, power chart, IR scheduling software, of course, I pull up Chrome in an incognito tab, log in in Gmail, pull up an online version of the Interventional Radiology Handbook by Kandarpa, and of course, I log into YouTube, all right? Just keeping it real. All right, round start at 0700 sharp every day. From 045, or 545 to 0700, I'm going hard and I'm going fast. I'm looking up every single patient on the schedule and working them up. So for example, for a taste, I'm looking up their history, I'm checking their liver status, their child queue, their melt score. I'm checking their performance status. I'm looking up things like labs, platelets, INR. I'm looking at trends. I'm looking at the bilirubin trend. All right, is it getting higher over time? Should I be worried about putting the patient into liver failure? All right, things like that. Is the patient on track for a transplant or is this procedure palliative? Okay, I'm pulling up images on PACS, looking at the anatomy, trying to figure out is it going to be a complicated case? Okay, are we going to stick the groin or are we going to stick the radial artery? All right, these are the questions going through my mind. Right before rounds are uh, about to start, I go up and see patients. So for example, I might see a patient that we embolized for GI bleed. I'll check their access site. I'll check on their hemoglobin trend. I'll see if their hemodynamic is stable. I'm trying to figure out, are they stable? Can we sign off or do we need to go back in? Okay, table rounds start at 0700 sharp. Basically every single patient on the list, we're gonna pull up and discuss them. Okay, uh, I'm basically trying to prove my case to that jury of attendings. And of course, the attending is going to take my plan and they're going to tear it to shreds, okay? Not to abuse me, not to destroy me, to train me and prepare me for life in the real world, okay? After table rounds is over, all right, it's time to get on a hat, get on a mask, get on those shoe covers, get the lead out, go in and get to work, all right? Might start things off with a taste, you know? I might look at the imaging on packs really quick before I head in the room, check in with the technologist, make sure everything is in the room, catheters and wires, okay? Might do a barbeau test to make sure that the radial artery is appropriate. And basically every single day is going to be a mix of small stuff and big stuff. Okay, This is literally what I did the other day. All right? Did two IVC filters, did a couple of venous lines, did a uterine fibroid embolization, did a nephrostomy check and removal, and did an endoleak embolization, which was complicated, it took about three hours. Okay, Keep in mind, any time during the day, we could get a call about an emerging case. Right? I work in a 550-bed hospital. Anything could happen, okay? It's my responsibility to make sure it's handled in a timely fashion with a high degree of respect to the preservation of human life. If I've got to knock a few patients off the schedule to make room for a patient that's bleeding to death, okay, so be it, okay? That's my job. Matter of fact, I remember once I took a call from a surgeon about a patient that they couldn't control bleeding in the regional spleen, brought him down and we embolized him, okay? Favorite time of the day, lunchtime, all right? Unfortunately, in IR, there's no guarantee of lunch. Okay, that's just how we roll. My favorite lunch is really the DK attending status regulation lunch. Okay, what's that? A bag of chips and a soda right out of the vending machine. <laughs> okay, that's for real. Uh, in the afternoon, there's usually a groove going. You know, patients are going in and out of rooms. And I'm thinking about tomorrow. I'm thinking about the next day. I'm thinking, have we consented patients for tomorrow? Or can I get a good resident to go up and go ahead and do that for me? And usually I can Rest of the day, we're just running. We're just trying to bang through any straightforward cases, trying to work our way through complex ones, okay? How late is a typical day in IR uh, run? Six o'clock, yeah. All right, seven o'clock, okay. okay. Eight o'clock, yeah, okay. Nine o'clock, yeah, sometimes, okay. And why do days run late, okay? Well, maybe that bleeder came down after all and the whole schedule got messed up. Uh, maybe we had a declotted dialysis graft. The room was tied up for hours, okay? The reality is IR is not a nine to five game and it's never going to be. And if you're an IR and you're working nine to five, I personally, I don't think you're working hard enough, okay? 
have I been in a case past midnight on a non-call day? The answer is yes. Okay, more than once. Before I go home, I make sure all my dictations are in. I check on any patient that I admitted that day to the hospital, and make sure they're tucked in. All right, I sign out a few patients to the on-call fellow, and then I go ahead and head home. All right, wake up the next day, do it all over again. All right, that is a day in the life of an IR fellow. My question to you is, do you want this? All right, you want to do this man enough or woman enough to do this kind of stuff? Because if so, put it right down in the black and white, put it right down in the comment section, okay? You heard my piece. I want to hear your piece. And matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and say, peace. I'm out of here. Sir, so, RMD. See you later.